back everyone i'll go and show you how you can go ahead and connect an xbox one controller on any ios 15 device this includes ipads ipods iphones the process is very easy the first thing you want to do make sure you're on ios 15 and then what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings app so once you're in your settings app like this you want to make sure you scroll down to bluetooth not wi-fi you want to click on bluetooth right here and you want to make sure your bluetooth settings are enabled so as long as this is on, then you're set. You want to go ahead and put your phone down for a second. I know you guys can't see the display. You want to make your way over to your specific Xbox One controller. Make sure batteries are in and everything. And what you want to do at this point is you want to go ahead and hold down the sync button at the back of your specific controller. And you want to hold down the Xbox button until the thing starts blinking like this. Now when it starts blinking like that, you want to make your way over to your iPhone and you will see at some point in your life it'll go ahead and show you that the Xbox wireless controller will come up. So now all you have to do while this is still on, you want to go ahead and click on the Xbox wireless controller right here and you will see that it'll go ahead and come up exactly to where your my devices are. It'll move from here and it'll come up here. So it may take a couple of seconds, it may even fail the first time. If that ends up being the case, then you just want to retry the process once more. And like I mentioned, it does take a little bit of while. iOS 15 is still in the beta, so it's not perfect yet. So do keep that in mind. And there we go. I must have not clicked it the first time. And as you can see, it is now connected. So now whatever games are supported on your Xbox One controller that are on you know, iOS, you can now utilize it. So I don't know if I can move this around and it'll actually move anything. Let me try it. So as you can see, it doesn't move anything here, which is typical, but you can see it is connected because it does show you the battery thing right there and the capacity of that battery. So that's essentially how you do it. Again, turn your Bluetooth settings on your iPhone, go into your Xbox One controller, hold down the sync button on the back of your Xbox One controller and the power button at the same time right here, and you can pretty much connect it through the Bluetooth settings. So essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also, every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.